I built an AI agent with NNN that can do all the code email marketing for you. You see, the most important and valuable thing in Outbound is time. And if you're taking Outbound seriously, you should reply within minutes and not within hours or days. But if you're sending thousands of emails every month or even every week, this is basically impossible. And while you can hire assistants or buy very expensive software to help you reply within minutes, it will cost you hundreds or even thousands of dollars every month. And still, they will have a lot of limitations. But using this system, you can get equally as good or even better results with just spending a few dollars a month. And by the end of this video, you will know exactly how you can set it up for yourself and just copy it. And by the way, I'm giving you the link to download this completely for free so you do not need to sign up to any community or whatever and you can just copy it, plug and play and get started directly. So let's dive right into it. The problem with traditional cold emailing and how it's done these days is that it completely neglects the advancements and also the new capabilities that cold email has done these days. Because you need to understand understand that you're competing with highly capable AI agents and not only human in the cold email space. So the biggest bottleneck for a human only operator is speed because these AI agents can craft personalized and also relevant messages and also replies within seconds. And this is why in order to compete with these agents, you need to leverage AI as well in order to be able to reply within minutes with a very relevant and also personalized email. This is why we have built this NNN agent and we've spent the last weeks actually using it in production and the results and also the improvements that we had are incredible. So let's dive right into the actual workflow now. The first thing we need to do to activate our agent is that we're going to connect it to an AI model. In this case, we're going to use Anthropic from Perplexity, but if you want to use a different model, for example, the OpenAI one or the Google one, the Gemini, then you can also just easily replace it. If you want to follow along and also use the Anthropic model, you can just create a free account on the Anthropic webpage and then here connect your instance by creating a new credential. The first thing we need to do now is feed the AI agent with data regarding our company because the replies and the messages should not only be relevant and personalized to the lead, but also based on our company. The best thing is if you just copy and paste things like your website, your value proposition or sales pitches, as much valuable data as possible so the agent knows exactly who he is dealing with. To keep it simple now and also keep it short, we're going to assume that we are sales Force. So we're going to go on their website and we're just going to copy out all of the content from their website. We are then going to click here on open chat. We're then clicking here on type a message. We're just going to copy paste that in. We can now see that the agent is working and extracting data and also adding supplementary data they can find on the internet. You will most likely get an error message now because you have not connected your Google Sheet yet. So this is something that you will also have to do. We will put a template in the description that you can just also copy and paste and then you need to connect it with your own credentials. This is quite straightforward. So just click here on adding your credentials and then also saying in which document it is and also in which sheet. And in this case, for the first one, we will have to map it to the param. So these are the parameters which include all of the details and also information about our own company. Also look at the values to update. So we want to have it in row number two. This is the row number two. And also you just have to drag and drop this thing here. So this is the, about the company. We already have it. So I'm going to delete it again. And here you will be able to see that now all of this data is then being mapped here in the Google Sheet. Now what we already have is we have a synthesis about our company, which includes the value proposition. It also includes all of the thing that we just inputted. And now our agent will use that to tailor every cold email and also every reply based on that. And to now proceed and also send cold emails to people, we of course first need leads that the agent can use to send cold emails to. This is now where our second sheet comes into play, the lead sheet. And this is where we will be able to paste in the job title, location, company industry, as well as the first name, last name, and the company. And to find these leads in the first place, you can use paid platforms such as Apollo, Zoom Info, Cognizm, or LeadIQ. However, there is also a method which has even more accurate data and is completely for free. We're going to use Google search for this. And the big advantage is that it's super scalable and that it's also indexing pages very quickly and especially LinkedIn pages, which means that we can be sure that the data is very fresh. In our case now, in the example we are doing, we want to find leads on LinkedIn, which are senior marketing managers 
in the healthcare or pharma industry in the UK. And we also want to make sure that these are not working in the beauty, fitness or wellness industry. So just go on google.com and I already prepared the prompt for this and we were going to dissect it quickly. So as you can see here, site linkedin.com slash IN. This means that we necessarily want a profile. So this is basically marked by the IN. We also want the job title to be senior marketing manager. So we make it an exact match by putting these signs here. And we also want the industry to be either healthcare or farmer. Also again, exact matches. And then we also want to exclude these industries. And that is being done by using the minuses. What we can see now in the current search results, we have people that are senior marketing managers. They are also working in the pharma industry, healthcare. But this person, for example, is from Spain. But as mentioned at the beginning, we only want UK managers. So in order to tackle that, we're going to click here on tools. We're going to click here on advanced search and we're going to paste the region as United Kingdom. And we will be able to see in our search results that these are senior marketing managers working at a pharma company only in the United Kingdom. And to export these people now, you can use things like Outscraper or you can also use extensions such as Easy Scraper. And what you will be able to see that everything is being recognized and also identified the LinkedIn URL, the name of the person, and also the job titles, including location. And now we can click here on Scraping Start. And this allows us to have a CSV full of leads. And this, of course, still needs a little bit of cleaning because we can see here that the name, the first name, the last name are not segregated. So we can just upload this in ChatGPT and tell ChatGPT to do so. And this will be quite easy. So after your output is cleaned, make sure to paste these values in the right column so that we can now go to the next step, which is getting the LinkedIn profile data at a more comprehensive scale. And to get that data, we're going to use a tool called Piloter. This is something you can also use completely for free at the beginning so you can get a free account. And after you've created your free Piloter account, the only thing that you have to do now here is you have to switch your API key here by just replacing the one that is already here there will be dummy data later and then you can close this again of course you should save it and then basically this is going to run on autopilot and something i haven't mentioned but which is very important is every time there is a note for google sheet that you should remap it so for example here we have google sheet again but now you should use the lead sheet because this is where the data should be extracted or later on appended again so you should not use the params sheet for this one but the leads one and to test now if everything has been set up properly until here we can just type something like run here and then the whole agent will execute and we will see if the Google Sheet and everything else has been set up properly. After you've also set up the next Google Sheet node, basically the same sheet again, you will be able to see that after this execution, the Piloter node will allow you to have all of the additional data, for example, the company website, also the company industry, the company size, and a lot of additional data appended to the Google Sheet. And again, this info will be leveraged by the AI agents so they know the prospect as well as possible and can also personalize and take the outreach accordingly. And as we're doing cold emailing, we of course also need the email address of that lead. And we need to make sure that it's actually the right one so that it's a valid email address. And for this, we're going to use a node called Better Contact. So Better Contact is basically a tool which aggregates over 20 email finders in one tool, verifies the email, and only pushes back the best one. And just like with Piloter, you can create a free account with no credit card needed whatsoever. And you just need to paste in the API key that you got after creating your free account. After you created your free account, just click here on the note and then you'll be able to see here the API key. So just replace it. And now you will be connected to your Better Contact account automatically. And because Better Contact now requests all of these providers and also verifies their email, we're going to use a webhook because it can take some time for the result to populate. So for this to work, we need to create a webhook node and then copy paste the webhook URL into the better contact node. And I will show you quickly how to do that. So just double click here on the webhook node and then we will be able to see here the production URL. You have to click here, just copy it out, go back to the better contact node and then click here on the JSON body and then just replace the webhook here. And after all of the validated emails have been found, the webhook will be triggered and only those leads with the valid email will be filtered out. We will also, in order to really tailor the outreach and replies to our company, retrieve the value proposition of the company we work for. So this is basically being done here in this Google node. And then we will also get the additional data of the prospects that we enriched with Piloter previously. And again, make sure to connect your Google Sheets. So this is the leads sheet and this is the params sheet, right? So this is params is where we had our company data saved and leads is where we had our lead level data saved. And now the next part of the AI agent is coming into play. Again, make sure to map your anthropic chat model and now 
now the AI agent will create the first email copy. And to create that copy, we gave the AI agent a prompt and this is being seen here. You can also change that, adjust it to your liking. And then after the message has been created, we will push this to our outreach tool. You can use a lot of different ones. So your outreach tool just needs an API, but because Smart Lead has the most flexible API, we will be using them. But you can also use things like Salesforce, Sales Handy, Reach Inbox or Instantly or a lot of different other ones. You can create a free trial on Smart Lead. So a 14 day free trial, you also don't need credit card whatsoever. So just get started here and then you will be able to get an API key and also map it here in your note. What we have to do now is create our email campaign and now you have to actually import leads as the first step. But in this case, we do not need to do that. So we just going to click here on sequences. And here we have to put the subject because this is going to be automatically filled by our AI agent. And here we're going to type in the body, which will also be automatically be populated by our AI agent. So we're going to click here on save and next. You then have to adjust your sender accounts as well as schedule campaign. And then for the campaign settings, we are going to click here on webhooks. We're going to add a webhook and then we're just going to name it something, for example, L1. And then we're going to create a webhook in our NNN node again, and then we will paste it there. So for this, we're going to need the new webhook node. And this one here, we're going to click here on production URL again, and then copy it out and then click here. And then we only want to have this webhook triggered when we have an email reply. So we're going to create the webhook here, and then we're going to see that the webhook is created. Another important thing we need to do is going back on the interface, click on the campaign, and then we need to copy out the campaign tag because this will allow us to identify the campaign and the AI agent can handle accordingly. So we're going to copy it out, go back to the agent, and then we have to paste it here. This will also be in the instructions. And now as soon as we receive the reply on the webhook, it will be triggered and the reply will be sent to the Google Sheet in the reply tab. So this is the new sheet that we will have created. We will see the lead email, the reply, as well as two important identifiers that we will need. And to make sure that the reply from the AI agent to the response of that lead is also again personalized and also tailored, we will have to connect our Google Sheet again. And of course, the goal is to book a meeting. So make sure that you replace your Calendly link here so you can use whatever scheduling tool you would like to use. So this can be changed here in the text. So here, just replace it with your own calendar so that the AI agent can send it out accordingly. And after the AI agent came up with a reply, it will be mapped to the Google Sheet and also be automatically sent out to Smart Lead so that everything is handled autonomously. And something that we also add here in the Google Sheet is the sentiment because this is something that the AI agent will also check on an email basis and this will allow us to see what type of response we receive. And now the good thing is that the AI agent is able to handle a large email thread. So even if the person replies again, the AI agent will basically also reply again. And only if the prospect is inconvincible, meaning that we expect that we won't be able to close them at all, the agent will stop with the outreach. And before using this, our average reply time to warm leads was anywhere between three to six hours. And sometimes if it was overnight, the response times took even longer. With this system now running in the background, it takes less than 90 seconds for a tailored reply to land in the person's inbox. And in the first two weeks, our positive replies to meeting book ratio went up by 36%. And we also booked nine additional sales qualified leads within the first two weeks of actually launching this agent. If you're doing cold email marketing, you're most likely also in the market for cold calling. But you most likely have not enough manpower or resources to actually do cold calling at scale. Well, that ends today because in the next video, I will show you how to build an NNN AI cold calling agent that handles all of the cold calling for you and I will show you how to build it step by step. If you're skeptical, I will guarantee you that the results will blow you away and this is just something on a different level. See you over there.